Never Hip a Lame Podcast. But speaking of that, like that tap in, OG Ron C, I know for me, and I know a lot of people, I have a love for music, but I definitely have a love for the Chopped and Screwed. Um, and he is probably one of my more favorite DJs when it comes to that. So I'm not going to lie. Again, with the source, that was one of them things. I was like, yo, this, this man Buggy got OGC over. Like, what? How did he? What? How did, so for me, because I'm so used to him doing his own stuff. Right. Or an uh, artist on a bigger scale album, you know, do that. I've never really seen him do um, more local or even just more of a lesser known artist at the time that so when you like again where did that come from how did that relationship even happen uh it started with slim k okay um dj slim k that's like the og even mm-hmm. to this day that's yeah. that's the big homie we dropping uh lord malone chop not slop pretty that's soon he chopping the whole thing that's just him up. but it started with slim k you know what i'm saying just me being a, a music lover and enthusiast and shit like that i used to always follow like his tapes his mm-hmm. mixes and shit like that and he probably don't even remember this shit. It's probably like 20, like 2010, 2011, around that time. 20, mm-hmm. like, yeah, around that time, like 2011. And um, he was just going crazy, bro, just dropping his mixes and shit like that. And, um, man, I just started reaching out. I low key probably was pestering this nigga. <laughs> I was like, bro, like, I'm from VA. Niggas is not fucking with me. Like, fuck with me. Like, I was really in his face. Mm-hmm. And,. He was already fucking with some of my homies. Like he had the Purple Children okay. mixtape series okay. with my nigga Rob Gallardo mm-hmm. and my dog, my right hand, Crown Marquise. He was like flaming that shit. Like he had a few tracks on there. And like, if people don't know, Purple Children, it's a, it's like a, a mixtape series with like the hottest songs of the year yeah, yeah. from the under, from the 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 most hottest underground niggas to the hottest. Top oh, dogs. Yeah. Puts they it hot a single, yeah. they chop not slop that shit. Mm-hmm. Rob Rob makes the track list. Rob Gallardo, he makes the whole track list, picks the songs and shit like that. So when I first I'm discovering all of this, I'm like, man, this shit is crazy. Like I gotta get down with this shit. Cause I seen it like I seen what it was before it even like got to the fullest potential. I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, cause I'm I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like growing up, I was a kid that used to get the CDs. Yeah. Every Tuesday when they drop, mm-hmm. and nigga, I remember having the Mike Jones and yep. the Paul Wall albums. Mm-hmm. If niggas remember, them shits came with the Chop Not Slot version, did, or the Chop, excuse me, the Chop Not Screw version, version. Yes. Michael Watts and yep. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It came with that shit, so I felt like that is what got me on Mike Jones and shit. Yeah, Paul Wall, Wall, they got me on that shit. Yeah, early, like that. Up, yep. They got me on it early. Come to think about it, still tipping might have been the first instrumental I officially recorded the song on. Like that's a, that's a hard that was like two thousand four. Yeah, that's that's a, like two thousand five. You was swinging for the fences with that one. You know what I'm saying? That day, was that's, that's still a classic instrument. I had my like, sister literally press. We was on voice recording, you know, the computer yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. she recorded me on that shit. That was the first <laughs> time I ever made a song, my nigga, on yeah. still tipping. So like, Houston, Texas influence. That shit has always been instilled in my music, instilled in me because I grew up on it. Mm-hmm. Grew up like little flip with my nigga. I fucked with little flip. Mm-hmm. So. You know, the first crack, once I seen it, it was like, oh, arms reach. Like, oh, shit, I might be able to work yeah, with him. It's, yeah. you I just kept chance, shooting my yeah. shot, bro, and he started fucking with me, man. And we've been locked in ever since. My first show in South by Southwest was with Ron C. Mm-hmm. and Michael Watts. So the Chop Stars, really, they embraced me as a whole, especially being from DMV. It's yeah. a, you know how many Houston niggas probably trying to get put on by these niggas? <laughs> they decided to they fuck, fuck with me. Yeah. I'm from way, Virginia. way, way, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean... I won't say too much. I almost got a record deal because of my affiliation with Slim K. So it's like, that shit is deeper than rap, bro. Like, they really didn't solidify the nigga name out here. I know, yeah. For me, because I remember I got first put on the Slim K. What you want to see? They did the... I'm a huge Sade fan because of my father. Nice and, and slow mixes. Boy. Yeah. I yeah, heard my that. Shit. I heard that and then I ran the Aaliyah one and I was like, mm-hmm. oh, he know what he doing. Because mm-hmm. I think a lot of people don't understand... When you listen to Chopped and Screwed, there are some people that do it correctly, and then there are some people where you just be like, nah, mm-hmm. like, why did you do it? And Slim K, like, he has this way where it flows. Like, it, it may, honestly, sometimes he do it better than the original song. Like, nah, facts. And Shit, I, jamming. Yeah, like, he do it better. You know and, and then you just be like, I don't even want to really hear the original. I mean, I just hear that. I would say this, like, 
the chop stars are they the originals. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. They, that's why it's so good. That's why you yeah. got Ron C, mm -hmm. you got Slim K, mm -hmm. you got Candlestick, Holly yep. Grove, and there's plenty of other DJ. There's plenty more of DJ smashing shit over there. So and it's like they was out here. You know what I'm saying? When Michael Watts was out here killing yeah. shit, they was out here like they pro they knew they got the blue, yeah. So they it's like the nigga, they yeah. know the origins of this shit. They from the eight, so that's why it's so pure. It's people from other regions trying this shit out. I see the the slow and reverb yeah. shit popping now. Yeah. It's like yeah. everybody taking their own crack at it, you know, and that's that's their co contribution to the game for real. Yeah. And I appreciate anybody who does take the crack. At it. I just yeah. know for me, I'm just gonna stick to that. Nah, for sure, me too. Nah, <laughs> yeah, I'm fuck with. Yeah. I fuck with Chop Not Slop, yes, nothing against the yeah. slow and reverb. Nothing, nothing wrong. Boys, but, but yeah. It's a, it's a different type of purity. It's a different type of thing that you said. Never Hip a Lame Podcast.